Let's say you don't like the sound of your voice. Well, we've all heard about facelifts. What about a voice lift? It's a new medical procedure which has some people really excited. But in this edition of Dr. Tim on Call, medical editor Dr. Tim Johnson sends up a warning that people have to be very cautious before having elective surgery on their vocal cords. It seems like one more luxury for aging baby boomers looking for the fountain of youth, a so-called voice lift. Well, the latest thing in plastic surgery now is something called the voice lift. I never heard about this. Anybody heard about this? The voice lift? Yeah, okay. okay. You, you have surgery on your vocal cords in order to sound younger. As we age, many people do notice hoarseness creeping into their voices, making them sound older. When Bob Anzaday reached 66, he found himself struggling to speak. When I spoke, I... Many times the person I was speaking to would not hear me as clear as they should. I had to repeat myself because it was very raspy and hoarse. On a videotape made of Bob's voice box at the time, you can hear just how hoarse he had become. Today's date? Today's date, October the 17th, 1995. To produce sound, the vocal cords must meet each other between 120 and 220 times a minute, and that takes its toll. Unlike skin, the surface of vocal cords doesn't sag as we age, it just gets stiffer. They actually decrease in pliability, they become stiffer, which makes it more difficult for them to vibrate. But doctors are now warning against doing cosmetic surgery on aging, but otherwise normal, vocal cords. It is not that uncommon in an attempt to actually bring the vocal folds together that they become overclosed. You can substantially make the voice worse, and we've all seen cases in which that can occur. However, a changing voice shouldn't be ignored or written off as just old age. Vocal changes may signal such things as benign polyps or even cancerous tissue in the voice box. Physicians can use everything from traditional surgery to lasers to treat these kinds of disorders. In Bob Anzaday's case, one of his vocal cords is paralyzed, but injections of fat have allowed the cords to meet so that his voice can now be heard. Injections of fat? <clears throat> well, in the case where a cord is paralyzed, you can inject the other one <clears throat> so it becomes plumper and meets in the middle and produces a voice sound. But what we need to warn against is, as we've said, if you have just aging cords and they look and they can't find any other abnormality, don't start injecting things willy-nilly. Uh, there are some very new exciting materials coming along that may make it, in fact, safe and effective to do that kind of thing someday, but right now, from what I've learned this week, I would be very cautious about so-called voice lifts. Yeah, so the people who want to go on a reality show now and be remade like a celebrity... Leave the voice, voice. out of it. It's too dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Dr. Timothy Johnson, good to see you this morning. We'll be back. Good Morning America's Dr. Tim on Call is brought to you...